Good evening, everyone. Uh, evening, I guess. I guess it's evening now. With the time change, I love the time change. It's a lot lighter outside this much later at night. Anyhow, good evening. Full case of select basketball coming at you. Break number five. Pick your team number five. There it is right there. On a Tuesday, Jeremy33, that last spot mojo, Brooklyn Nets. I added... Um, I added another full case break of select basketball. So if you missed out on your team's first time, you can get them another time. We are kind of running out of select basketball, so get into it while supplies last. I think we are going to try to get some more. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure we're going to try to get some more. Basketball in full swing. Basketball, college basketball in full swing. Everyone have their brackets all ready to go? We'll have a, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure I'll set up a uh, a free bracket tournament. So keep an eye out in the chat for information on that or in the Facebook group. It'll be either in the chat or in the Facebook group. All right. There are the first six right there and there are the second six back there. Uh, Aiden asking if I think the Zo 2s are worth 500 bucks. Absolutely. Only big ballers need apply though. If you're not a big baller, you're not going to be buying those shoes. All right. Uh, EA Sports with the Lakers in this one. That's right. You got the you got these Lakers ages ago. It's been a minute or two since we've seen Alonzo Ball. In fact, I think the last time we saw Alonzo Ball autograph was the first case. I don't think we've seen a Kyle Kuzma autograph. Actually, right? Have we not seen a Kyle Kuzma autograph? I know we're still searching for that Lori Markin autograph for you, Eric. He has the Bulls too. We found most everybody else, though, I think. At least one of most everyone else. Patrick saying the <laughs> Pat is saying, and he has the Hawks in this one, he's saying, like, the bracket this year, hella stressful. Yeah, the, it, it's, yeah, I feel like every, ever since the one and dones, it gets harder and harder. There's just a lot more variance. It's harder and harder to tell who's going to be that big that big team every year. But Virginia, Villanova, those are your favorites. I'm sure we'll have a plenty of bracket talk as time goes on. All right. DeJunta Murray, X Factor memorabilia for the Spurs. Eric with the first hit of the break. There's Kawhi. There's Dirk. Red out of 199. We'll top load and sleeve all of those up after the break. Courtney Lee to 49 for the Knicks. Just in the interest of time, we'll be breezing through a little bit more quickly. Josh Jackson Gold. Josh Jackson Gold die cut for the Suns. Four out of 10. Paul DeYoung with the Suns. Big hit to start things off. Marcus Aldridge, apologies, out of 199. What was that? Oh, that's a little bit of the wrapper right there. There's a nice deer and fox silver. That'll go to the Kings. That'll be for Ryan. Yeah, Eric, I don't know what's up with that. EA's like, it seems like last couple products have come out. Seems like the hardest player to... He's picked the teams. He's chasing hits for teams that players that seem to be the hardest to find. In contenders, optic, he's been chasing. Well, you and everybody else, but he's been purchasing a lot of the Jaguars. Not Tina Leonard Fournette yet. There's Jared Allen for the Nets. Brooke Lopez. We got points. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Sean Livingston, 22 out of 99. So that'll be a, a, a winner take all on that.
John Wall Silver. Wizards are playing right now, aren't they? I think they are. Yeah, Paul, that was an out of 10. Oh, no sounds. <laughs> Just read that. Yeah, someone let him know. Browns backer did. Pat Sully confirms. Zach Collins, relic, draft selections relic for William and the Trailblazers. Yeah, it's pretty huge. You're welcome. Save these over here. All right, nice first box. Next box. Um, where is the where is the UCLA game? Does anyone know what what channel the UCLA game is on? Oh, it's on True TV. I don't know what channel True TV is on on this TV. All right, folks, let's talk about it. Who has uh, who wants to share some of their picks in the bracket in their college basketball bracket? Who wants to uh, share what they believe will be some of their uh, their hot takes on hot upsets? Anyone got any hot upsets? How do you traditionally do in bracket tournaments? Has anybody ever won their bracket? Like whether it's an office pool or with friends at school, family members. I forgot I forget who won our tournament. We did brackets last year. I forget who won last year. I I don't think I've ever won. I've been doing this for a million years. I've gone close. I feel like I've gotten in the money before for a tournament, like third place or something like that. But tie dye die cut. Shabazz Muhammad, fourteen out of twenty five. Rodney with the Timberwolves. There's Jared Bayless, blue. That's for the Sixers. That is out of 299. Aiden saying he's picked Florida over Purdue in round three in the Sweet 16. All right, that's pretty strong. That's a hot take. There's throwback memorabilia, Chris Paul. For the Clippers, that'll be for Michael Losey. 12 out of 99 on that one. Purple parallel. Nice silver Brandon Ingram. We got orange Nicola Batum. That's for the Hornets. That's for Will Bartle. That's out of 75. Jared Allen blue for the Nets. So a couple Jared Allens for last spot mojo. Jeremy 33. Goran Dragic silver. Trevor Ariza silver. And Evan Turner. Throwback memorabilia, Evan Turner. I feel like Evan Turner is in the news lately. Why? Is he on the, is he on the Trailblazers now? Was he like something about the contract or something like that? Yeah, there's Evan Turner. Maybe I think of someone else. And Kenny Skywalker. Part of the Skywalker family. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 180 out of 199 going to Chris Huey and the New York Knicks. 
That was box two. So Booney's got Michigan, Michigan State, Purdue, and Arizona making the Final Four. Almost an all Big Ten Final Four, and he's not even taking his Buckeyes. Well, when you want to win, Booney, you have to play with the with the mind, not with the heart. If you if you play with the heart, that could be heartbreaking. Uh, and Pat's got Arkansas over Purdue. Well, how come no one likes him? Well, what's the, what's the deal with Purdue? No one likes Purdue. Booney does. Booney hasn't gone to the Final Four, but Aiden and Pat have them as as upset somewhere along the line. NYK's final four is Villanova, Duke, Cincinnati, and Gonzaga. That's an interesting one. Where, where's my bracket? I was kind of working on a bracket last night. Let's see if I could find that for you. Who do I have my final four? My bracket is not done yet. But I have Virginia and Gonzaga in the final four. They're facing each other. And I have Villanova, Michigan State facing each other. That's not crazy, is it? I don't think so. Oh, interestingly, Booney does not have one of the favorites, Villanova, in the Final Four. Wait, so who comes out of the, the East for you, Booney? Arizona? No. Oh, yeah, Purdue. That's right, Purdue coming out of the East for Booney. Pat has Arizona taking the chip. NYK says, I had Virginia, but have them losing to Arizona now that their sixth man is out. So we think that's going to be the, the deciding factor for them. EA Sports is in the game. Virginia, UNC, Kansas, and Villanova in his final four. That's interesting. All right, Will Barton, Nuggets, Purple. That's for uh, David Shaw and the Denver Nuggets. A purple die cut is number two. 99. Apologies. Mark is smart out of 199. And for the Lakers, Shaq Daddy. Oh, tie-dye. Little Laker Joe Mojo for EA Sports. It's in the game. The Big Diesel, the Big Aristotle. Shaq Daddy. Officer Shaq. Tie-dye. Three out of 25. I've yet to see... Uh, the statue out there at the Staples Center. I gotta go visit that. Just a quick train ride away. Got Harry Giles, draft selections, relic for the Kings. That'll go to Ryan. Damian Lillard, blue die cut. Andrew Wiggins. And back here, we've got Justin Patton, rookie signatures. Right on the card for the T-Wolves, Rodney with the Timberwolves. 107 out of 199. Dame die cut for William. That's out of 185, William. Booney thinks, uh, I don't think there's going to be a lot too many early round upsets, a lot of parody college hoops this year, but when the tournament time hits, it'll be pretty much chalk. Par for the course, he says. EA's uh, Parallel Universe 109 out of 299, Lamarcus Aldridge. Uh, EA's Parallel Universe bracket has Virginia, Gonzaga, Purdue, Kansas. Ninety nine Lamarcus Aldridge for the Spurs and the last bid right here, Devin Booker Silver. Jordan Bell Silver. Noah Vonley. Jay Crowder and Yogi Farrell. Uh, 
All right, next box. NYK saying Seton Hall makes the Elite Eight. I have to memorize where all the teams are. Where's Seton Hall? So you're saying they're going to beat North Carolina State and they're going to beat Kansas. That'll be a, that'll be a crazy one. Booney saying, but no number... Oh, but number one seeds will... I thought you were saying no, but Booney saying, but number one seeds will make the final four. That's where the aha uh -huh moment will be. Roy saying, really, it's not the final four without Duke. He wants Duke in there. That'll make it the final four. It could, it could be interesting to see Grayson Allen on that stage. Paul Tate saying, Michigan are Big Ten champs and will make it to the final four. Hey, thanks, Aiden. Have a good night, man. Michigan, I have Michigan being upset by, um, this is probably going to change, but San Diego State, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but they're going to run into UNC if it goes chalk, I think. That'll be an interesting matchup. Now, don't pay attention to me though, folks. I don't watch college basketball throughout the year. I just do a ton of research like the day before. I do a ton of research the day before, and then I uh, and then I pretend I'm an expert. Isn't that what everyone does? I'm pretty sure that's what everyone does. Reggie Jackson. Oh, oh, Booney was actually saying what I originally read. That he's saying that zero number one seeds will be in the Final Four. There's Reggie Jackson for the Pistons. There's Kyrie out of 75 for the Celtics. And out of 25, tie-dye, Willie Hernan Gomez. Nice. Another tie-dye relic. It's on a heavier uh, card stock, too. These are nice. Nine out of 25. Love the tie-dye look. There's Dwight Howard for Charlotte. That's out of 299. Will Bartle with the Hornets. You got that silver Malik Monk, actually. That's pretty nice. Along with this insert of Kyle Kuzma for the Lakers. All that will add up, too. All those silver parallels and whatnot. Zach Collins. I like that tricolor. And Lori Markin in silver. That goes to EA Sport to send the game. Eric's been looking for a autograph of this guy for a little while, but these silvers should do pretty well too, if I'm not mistaken. Especially for the more desirable higher end rookies. Gallinari for the Clippers, X Factor. For Michael Losey in the clip show. 33 out of 90. Oh, some validation from Ryan. He's saying, hey, I feel like that San Diego State pick might be okay. That Trey Kell kid is phenomenal. Nice Kyle Kuzma die cut. See, all that will add up, Eric. Now we just need that one big autograph or two. That'll get you home on the Lakers. 64 out of 99. I mean, what does everyone have like a general strategy? There's Damian Lillard and TJ Leaf. Jersey autograph TJ Leaf. Does, they, does everyone have a general strategy on who to pick? I feel like I feel like in general you got to think individual players that could take over the game, right? Twenty three out of ninety nine uh, goes to Rodney with the Pacers. So if like one team has a good has one good individual player that could potentially take over a game, you know that is a, a kind of a general tip. I suppose. What other tips are out there? I guess these days, good good three point shooting teams could change the momentum of a game around really quickly. I like the uh, this is going to be the buzzword of this tournament quadrant. I love the quadrant records. 
you know, because that gives you an idea on on how well the teams on how well teams do against other teams, opponents that are in certain quadrants of the top, whatever. I don't know what what other broad tips are there, folks, that you that you personally subscribe to. I kind of like uh, kind of like older teams. I think. I think teams that maybe have some more that have like a great freshman that's like NBA ready, and then like a solid team of. Juniors and seniors, you know what I mean? Yeah, Ryan saying San Diego State plays crazy good defense, has eight players they rotate in and out to stay fresh. Hard team to play first round. Yeah, I, again, like I said, I'm, I'm going to pretend I'm a college basketball expert for the next couple of weeks, uh, for the rest of March, basically, but I really don't watch that much college basketball. If, if I do, just because of their proximity, I do end up watching a lot of UCLA, San Diego State, a lot of Pac-12 games. So really, if I have a slight lean on knowledge, I would be there. Um, Joe's, Joe Cavanaugh is saying that he likes to look for off offensive efficiency when picking brackets. That's pretty good. Right, DJ Remake saying older teams that defend the three take care of the ball, right, which older players tend to do. Booney saying uh, teams in the top 40 per possession defense and great guard play. That is true as well. Those are all some good tips, everybody. Yeah, feel free to share your tips while I go through this box right here. Good luck, everyone. We've got Red Gordon Hayward. Poor Gordon Hayward out of 135. That'll, that die cut will go to the Celtics. Corey K. Hi there, thank you. You too. We've got Mike Muscala, red. Out of 199, Hawks with that one. We got JJ Redick, purple, throwback memorabilia, throwing it back to the clip show. That'll be for Michael Losey. And that is four out of, check that, 84 out of 99. Andre Drummond, purple die cut for the Pistons, Miritich, and Tyler Dorsey. Rookie signature for Pat Sully and the Atlanta Hawks. Rookie Auto, 94 out of 199 on that one, Pat. The Andre Drummond for the Pistons, Chris Huey, that's 18 out of 99 on that die cut. Jared Allen Blue. And out of 25, ooh, Rodney Hood, tie-dye. That goes to Mark. And the Utah Jazz. We've gotten some a few of these high die relics here. Two hundred twenty-five, very nice. Jared Allen for the Nets, blue, and that is seventy-two out of two ninety-nine for Jeremy thirty-three. There you go, Pat. <laughs> so you got three of those now. Well, who are you looking for? You keep buying the Hawks. Are there, is there someone in particular? We haven't pulled you a Dominique Wilkins yet, have we? Maybe that that's the that's the chase. Parallels, maybe? I don't think we had gotten you lower number of parallels than that. Well, grade one, sell the rest. All right. Now, GCL, Ghetto Country Life, that's John. He says he likes... Wichita State and Arkansas to make the Elite Eight. Arkansas being the dark horse. He's expecting them to, to, to be madness, he says. To go nuts. He's got to root for uh, OU. But yeah, Young is almost just a one-man team. 
Royal for speed. Ryan saying I'm a KU fan, but with Azbuke, no, I'll say that word, out, we're going to have a rough go. 77.9 field goal percentage. Wow. Roy Boy asking why Sean Miller is still coaching Arizona. He's a cheater, is he? Allegedly. Oh, John Collins is what Pat's looking for. Allegedly. I don't know. ESPN seemed confused about their timeline on that. And then they went back and they were unconfused again, which makes it confusing. But so far, nothing wrong yet. How much does emotion pl have to play in teams, you know? Does Arizona feel like, hey, are they going to ride some emotion? I feel like with, with young college teams, sometimes emotion can carry a team a certain distance. Trey Lyles... Relic. Who are the teams playing on emotion right now? Trey Lyles, Jazz, Mark, Marvin Williams out of 49 for Charlotte. Well, I don't know if Sean Miller is innocent or not. I just know that <laughs> that it's not, not decided one way or the other. Unless you have info, unless you're, you have info on the case, Pat. Are you part of the investigative team? One twenty-one out of one ninety-nine. Tyler Eulis. If so, please enlighten us with some breaking news. Zach Collins, X Factor, Trailblazers. William L. Aniogbu, Miritich, Die Cut, JJ Berea. JJ Berea, purple die cut, 53 at 99. And for the Pacers, nice silver right there. Pacers. There's Jerry and Grant at 900 points. So that's a winner take all on the points. Lou Williams out of 149. Nerlens Noel and DeAndre Jordan in the back. All right, we are officially halfway through this full case break. Pulled some nice tie-dye relics. Now we need to see some uh, big autos, I feel like. We see some big autographs. And some big, uh, maybe some, we haven't even seen any of those zebras yet. Yeah, Pat's like, let's find his, yeah, we haven't seen a zebra yet. I agree, man. Let's find some zebras. Oh, John, John wants to get into it. John Goss wants to get, he's like, until these kids start getting paid, they'll always be cheating in some form or fashion, but we'll paying them make it worse. I keep going back and forth on this, and um, I think at first I said they should. Then I felt, then I feel like they shouldn't because I feel like it just opens up a real can of worms. Because then you're just saying, okay, only college basketball players and college baseball players and college football players will get money because they're making, they're driving money. But then what happens with? You know, the rest, like the swim team, the water polo team, the volleyball team, you know? Like, what happens there? It gets really complicated. How much do you pay? Who do you pay? Then you have to arbitrate who gets paid what, you know? Oh, does basketball get more ratings so that they get more than football? You know? I don't know. Like, it's really hard to really arbitrate or determine all that, which sounds like a real hassle to me. <laughs> but if you want to get money out of here's someone I heard someone on the radio say this if you want to get money out of college basketball you have to start with high school you have to start with the AAU leagues and I think the NBA has to step in and buy the AAU leagues and get the shoe money out of there you know you got to get the shoe money out of those high school tournaments then I think you can start to 
you know, I, then I think you can start to, start to get there. You know, you know what I mean? Hey, booty, you're welcome. That oh, was a great break for you. Well, that's Ryan saying they are getting paid. They're getting a free college edu education. No, they're not. You know this. They they're one and done. They spend six months at school just for the basketball season. They're gone. Are they actually going to classes? No. They're not getting education. There's Myers Leonard. I mean, ideally they should. With a Thor, and these aren't very common. But I think you have to change that one and done rule too. I think you have to say, hey, there's Evan Turner, by the way, throwback. I think you have to say, hey, either you don't have to go to college or if you do go, you have to stay there for three years. Then that would make the free college education argument worthwhile because they're actually going to be there for three or four years. Then they are getting the education. 94 out of 99, Evan Turner. But if they feel like they can go pro at 18, go for it. That's what I say. Why force them to go to college for a year? And it just makes it a farce. Tony Snell, neon green die cut, 36 out of 60. That's just my opinion, though, to, to, try, to try to get money out of college basketball. There's always going to be money in college sports, but to attempt to. Caleb Swanigan, silver. So, and Devin Reed, 58 out of 199. Moody asking, how does money in the AAU league pre affect NCAA players? Because uh, they're sponsored by a lot of shoe companies. There's a great, what was the what was the 30 for 30 with Sonny Vaccaro? That's for the Suns, by the way. This is for uh, Paul DeYoung. Um, it, it, t it talks about how all that shoe money and sponsorship money really goes into all of those tournaments and those and which has been affecting high school football as well or high school uh, basketball as well there's Jamal Murray tie-dye for the Denver Nuggets my Lakers playing them tonight David Shaw three out of 25 oh I agree I agree. Most of the Ryan saying most of these kids, he's like, look, Joe. Most of these kids are one and done. They're not going to make it to the NBA. One and done or not, are not going to make it to the NBA. Their sense should be a great education, which is why I think you either say, <laughs> either, I think you kind of have to force them to stay there for three years. Kyrie Irving, just say, hey, you got to be there for three, at least zero or three. But that's the problem, Joe. I think that's what we're, we're – I totally agree with you on that. 41 out of 9, Joe, Joe's saying, listen, too many people have their mouths in the trough for an easy fix. I agree. Now, what I'm saying, I don't think that's going to be the fix. I think that's just merely a start. <laughs> you know, it's still going to take a while to extract everybody out of this, this uh, sort of pipeline that everyone's been used to for a long time. Now, we – they have a pronunciation of his name right here. It's actually Joe. Joe – Joe Chi. I've been saying Zhu Qi. I'm not Chinese. I don't know these things. Anyhow, <laughs> Joe Qi. Die cut for the Rockets. That goes to Josh. But yeah, that shoe documentary, Moody, is a really great place to start on uh, to see. I think ESPN did that 30 for 30. Great place to start on how all that money gets involved or gets, uh, permeates the system from when they're kids all the way to whenever um right and then there yeah then there then there are, are shoe companies that are sponsoring schools and so that's been the big i think federal scandal right is that now like adidas if you're an adidas school they're trying to drive kids to become adidas uh shoe wearers when they're pros and try to drive them towards Adidas favored agents too. So there's a lot of that that shadiness happening. It's very complicated. I think I heard a solution that that Adam Silver may may consider. Maybe I read this wrong. Maybe this is just speculation. I don't know if Adam Silver ever actually ever said this.
But I think there was some speculation that the NBA could use a, an academy program the way soccer does. So a lot of big European soccer leagues like Barcelona and like Liverpool and Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain and stuff like that, they all, have, they all have academy programs where they sign kids to, to deals like when they're like 10 years old. And so they get identified early, they get signed to contract, but they still go to school. You know, all those kids still have to go to school. They get private tutors and everything. So, but they're in that academy system and that takes, and then there's protection for the children because kind of, because they're still locked to the team and there's indentured servitude issues and stuff like that there. But it does get the, the sponsorship money out of it though. So it's all, that's another give and take, but again, no right answer, complicated situation, but All right, here we go. See, endorsements only would be interesting, but I always get nervous about that because then that introduces agents a lot earlier. Draft selections, Relic, Jared Allen. Or maybe you should introduce agents earlier. I don't know, maybe that would be a regulating thing. I have no idea. But I haven't thought about that too much, but. There's blue Kevin Durant. Out of 299. And Kevin Durant again, die cut. 17 out of 99. I don't know. Not an easy situation, though. I I don't think, I think ultimately you can't really pay the kids. You have to convince him to stay in college. Zebra, Grizzlies, Dylan Brooks. Rookie Zebra for the Grizz. Scott Fee with the Grizzlies. Dan Russell, not dangerous. That's Russell Wilson. That's Russell Westbrook. Jonathan Isaac. Draft selections relic for the Magic. That goes to Chris Parent. But I think ultimately you can't pay the kids, right? At least there's not a good way to do it. Endorsements doesn't doesn't sound quite right. But I think was it Ryan, Ryan or Joe? Well, no, Ryan was Ryan who was saying that that you got to convince them the incentive should be the education. I agree with that. I totally agree with, which doesn't happen now. So somehow incentivize them to stay in call or force them to say, hey, X amount of years. And that makes the college product better too. 42 out of 199, Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon. So when we watch a tournament, you know, you know how many people that come into the shop or that I talk to on the streets of LA who say, yeah, kind of not into the tournament. But if you think about it, they don't, you know, there's no connection to the team anymore. Wow, whoever wins the points are going to get a lot. No connection to those college teams anymore, but if players were there for a few years, there would be a connection. Imagine if, like, Lonzo Ball stayed at UCLA for three years. That just creates better, a better product on the court. Michael Kidd Gil Gilchrist die cut goes to Will Bartle, by the way. And then you could argue that with more college experience, that'll create more consistent rookies, right? At a 299, Trevor Ariza. I know, th this is a lot more points than we usually see in a case. Trevor Ariza blue at a 299, which obviously takes the place of hits. All right, four boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Need to get a couple big hits out of here. Yeah, we just, didn't we pull one of those a little bit earlier? I've seen, I think the biggest points card I've seen is 5,000, 6,000, something like that. Maybe even more, maybe 9,000. I think it was out of like, it was a few years ago. I don't think they'll, they'll do that again, but it was a few years ago in like National Treasures or uh, or Immaculate or something like that. We pulled like a $9,000, not $9,000, 9,000 point card or something like that, which I guess was, could get you whatever RPA that was missing because of that. 
But I think Panini quickly realized that people weren't fond of seeing that in higher end sets. Yeah, the, we've seen a little. We've seen it more exciting cases so far. But four boxes left. All it takes is a couple big hits to to turn to turn things around. Let's finish strong, folks. Four boxes left. Good luck. We got a fox in the box. There we go. 49 out of 199 rookie signatures. Darren Fox. Ryan with the Kings. There you go, Ryan. Ryan on the board. James Harden red for the Rockets. Josh Schmidt with that one is, is he your MVP? There's Paul George, X Factor, Oklahoma City Thunder. That'll be for Moody and the Thunder. Dirk Nowitzki. Noah Vondley. Jermichael Green, Neon Green. Green and Neon Green, 28 out of 65. Grizz. Scott V. Papa Giannis, X Factor. So another one for Ryan and the Kings. Although, I don't think he's there anymore, right? 47 out of 49. Vinsanity still there. George Hill, not there. That'll still go to the Kings. One fifty two out of one eighty five. Nikola Jokic out of two ninety nine. Nuggets. There you go. Next box coming up. Yeah, get a uh, ghetto country life saying that the Fox actually gave your Thunder a bit of a challenge last night. He is pretty good. He's saying a bit of a crybaby on calls. But you know what? What 18-year-old isn't a crybaby? 18, 19-year-old kid. They're whiners. All those kids. Kids these days. Get off my lawn. No, I think De'Aaron Fox will be pretty solid. I think this rookie class has been pretty great. Oh, shots fired from Ryan. He said, well, he played at Kentucky, so it's expected that he would be a whiner. Whoa. Kentucky fans, react. We'll make this the most drama-filled hour-long break ever. All right, three boxes to go. We're almost there. On the home stretch, folks. About 15 minutes to go. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for the good conversation. Looks like a lot of people interested in talking about basketball. A lot of exciting things happening. I, we just need this case to finish a little bit stronger. I think that would make everybody happy. So good luck to everybody. Good karma for the rest of this case. Good vibes. Good vibes. Big hits. Big hits. No whammies. No whammies. See a lot of orders coming in, so... I don't know what they're for, but we're going to find out soon enough. After this break, I'm going to take a quick 10 minutes just to scarf down some food, and then we'll go through orders, and we'll rock and roll through some more breaks. Yeah, I mean, this has been such a crazy sports day that I will allow uh, football talk in a basketball break because a lot of crazy things happening today in sports. Yeah, Danny Amendola leaving the Patriots for the Dolphins, and yeah, Jordy Nelson who was released by the Packers, now being considered by the Patriots. A lot of, lot of things being shuffled around here. Nice Lonzo Ball Silver. There you go. That's pretty solid for Eric and the Lakers. He wants that autograph, though. I do, too. Or a Kyle Kuzma. I don't think we've seen a Kyle Kuzma autograph. 
Derek White Red out of 199 for the Spurs. Oppo Joe Mojo for Eric Jennings. Dwight Howard has actually been having a pretty decent season this year. Marcus Smart. Mono Ginobili. Some die cuts coming up. We got Kelly Aubrey Jr. and Draymond Green. Draymond Green die cut for the Warriors. That'll be for Jason Cox. 13 out of 185. Kelly Aubrey Jr. Eric Jennings for the Wizards. Red. 58 out of 135. Devin Reed rookie. And is that a Kevin Durant autograph? It is. Wow. In flight signatures. Kevin Durant for the Warriors. That'll go to Jason Cox and the Golden State Warriors. Wow. Nice. Playing incredibly well. Can they keep the team together, though? I start paying a lot of guys a lot more money. Bruce, what's going on? Moss 188 in the house. He says, I think uh, Jordy Nelson goes to the Raiders. I wouldn't mind that. Take a flyer on Jordy Nelson out of 299. John Luer. And we got Ursan Ilyasova, throwback relic for the Milwaukee Bucks. It'll be for Kip Kip Hooray with the Bucks. Speaking of the Bucks, my Raiders may go for uh, Doug Martin on the Buccaneers. I heard rumors. I heard people tell tale of that. We'll see if that actually happens. I'm not sure what the Raiders are going to do, at least in terms of big names, big free agent names. Not sure what they're planning on. I'm not sure if they've done something in the last few hours. Been busy breaking. I'm sure someone would have mentioned something, though. Okay, two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. It's crazy to think that just a short amount of time, free agent window is going to open. Then in what, about a, about a month, we'll have the draft. So there'll be nothing but draft talk leading up to that point. We'll all watch the draft together, I'm sure. And then... You know, by then we'll reach the end of the end of the soccer seasons in May, Champions League final in May. Then that'll bring us right into the NBA finals. So the NBA playoffs will be happening around there. That'll get us right into the middle of June, middle of the baseball season. Baseball All Star Game happens. World Cup happens. World Cup will be happening in the middle of the summer. So that'll be exciting. Before you know it, playoffs, baseball playoffs, football season begins to start. Crazy. Yeah, Stanley Cup Finals. Can't forget about Kawhi Leonard. That's also around June. Kawhi Leonard for the Spurs. So year-round sports, ladies and gentlemen. There's Select Sparks Relic, Allen Iverson, AI. John Oakray, what's going on? So, a lot of things to keep us busy, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of new releases throughout the year, too, that we'll be, we'll be breaking with everybody. There's Reggie Jackson for the Pistons. That'll be out of 149, 119 out of 149. That's for Chris Huey and the Pistons. Kyle's Kuzma? Kyle Kuzma, tricolor. For the Lakers. That is for EA Sports. It's in the game. All of those parallels will add up, though. There's Justin Patton. Justin Patton. There it is. Draft Selection 16. 
Timberwolves, Rodney. Harry Giles, rookie die cut. John Oakray, Packers fan, sad about Jordy Nelson. It is a business. 182 out of 185. Why not let him ride it out? Because it's a business. It's cold. It's cold business world. Ojale, tie dye die cut. I think if the Packers think that by letting Jordy Nelson go frees them the money or whatever they need to uh, to make their team better, you got to do it. Kyle Korver, sixty out of ninety nine, is your select autograph. Jason Cox, Cavs. Jason with the sharpshooter, Kyle Korver. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. And a lot of points to be randomized to one person. Winner take all of those points. Swat says he'll just end up being a Patriot. That's what someone else said, too. He's now apparently talking to the Packers. Says, uh, I think it was Craig earlier. Um, but, but Moss, Bruce was thinking, my Raiders. Yeah, that Rams defense was already good, Bruce. And he thinks they'll be dominant. He's already a girly fan, but then, you know, they... they Rams keep, keep making good decisions. That is for sure. Uh, it, it's it's stunning how how just that coaching change really turned things around. The difference between Jeff Fisher and Sean Payton has been uh, McVay. Sorry, Sean Payton's in, Saint, in New Orleans. Um, but with McVay has been just night and day. Which, which kind of leads me to believe that, that man, Jeff Fisher had that team, you know, right there. That roster was right there. Wasn't, they didn't, it's not like they made any wholesale changes to that roster. So it really was like, it really was the coaching. That's the importance of a, of a good coach. Especially in a game like football. All right, last box. Good luck. We've got Luke Kennard, draft selections relic for the Pistons. That'll be for Chris. We've got a blue Jared Bayless and a Robin Lopez die cut, along with a zebra Russell Westbrook. Found another one. A wild zebra has appeared in this case. Moody with the thunder. Nice. Uh, the Robin Lopez out of 185 on that die cut. Jared Bayless for the Sixers. Blue out of 199. 299 on the Blues. Nicola Batum. Oladipo. Kawhi Leonard, Tobias Harris, Orange James Johnson, Ricky Rubio. Uh, the Orange James Johnson, those are out of 75. Four out of 75. Miami Heat, Rodney, and the Kawhi out of 149. 17 out of 149 goes to the Spurs. That'll go to Eric Jennings. The rookie signatures is Anuobi, 16 out of 199. The OG on Wobi. If you don't know, now you know. Cameron with the Raptors. There you go, Cameron. Does he stay? Does Kawhi Leonard stay with the Spurs? Seems like that relationship is not, not quite there. Not quite as strong as it used to be. Will Barton. Got some bulls. That's Derrick Rose, throwback. 
That is for Eric and the Bull. Still on that Lori Marketing search. Man, where is he? We haven't found it for anybody. There you go, Cameron. We got you. Blue Tony Parker, Dominic Wilkins, Dante Exum, etc., etc. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. EA, the search continues, my friend. We haven't seen Kyle Kuzma either. It's Tony Parker. Slide these over. We've got a nice randomizer to do with a boatload of points right here, including that 900 pointer. It's a winner take all. So let's go to random.org. Let's get some new dice. Let's grab a list or a blank form here. Grab this list from Pat down to Eric. Let's get their names in there. Let's randomize that list. Five and a six, 11 times. Name on top gets all of the points. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and five more times. Seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11 the final time. Name on top after 11 times. Five, four, three, two, one. TJP. I don't think I called your number all break. Now you, had, you had some Sixers parallels, but that was about it. But a bunch of points, too, as the consolation prize. So there you go. We've got another case available on jazbeeshobbyland.com, including right off to the side. You can see those are the half, that's the half case random team break. That's also available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Go and check it out, folks, and we'll hoot with you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.